So today we're looking at the Draco Solemn 16 drum filler. So we'll start off with a controller. A little simple on and off emergency stop switch there. Rotates to uh, turn it back on. Manual wash, um, should you ever need to trigger a manual wash. Uh, new function they put on here is the override switch. So you've got 99 minutes or 45. And then you've got the um, wash rotations. Uh, most of the time this needs to be on one, but you can turn it up to two, three or four, should you require. And that's the controller. You've got a, a lead here, which goes to the junction box on the back of the drum and a power lead. Let's pop that out of the way. So the drum comes with a lid. Just pop that off so you can have a look. So it's a little bit smaller than its bigger one, uh, bigger rubber, 25. You've got four wash jets on here. Screen is 55 micron standard. You've got the drum, uh, the drive motor there, which does swivel up out of the way should you need to get, gain access. This one is a gravity fed model. So the float switch is located in the clean side of the chamber. If it was a pump fed model, it's located in this front chamber here. So on the front of the drum, you've got a four inch waste outlet and you've got two four inch inlets. Um, so you can have two bottom drains running into this or one bottom drain and one skimmer. Um, or if you're doing it pump fed, you can run your pumps up into the um, into here with a rubber adapter. And then on the back side, you've got your junction box here, which is where your controller plugs in. Magnetic solenoid valve and a 15 mil inlet for your mains water for the washing of the drum. And then you've got your two four inch outlets. If used in conjunction with the bio chamber, um, it simply needs two rubber four inch straight connectors and that will marry up with a bio chamber, whether that be the standard, midi or large. And you've got a little drain port there. It does come with a valve to go on that. And that is the Draco Solemn 16.